Yeah, you know, we're uh, ready for the game. A uh, quick turnaround since we had a game uh, Wednesday, uh, a little bit of travel, but, you know, we're all professionals and we're ready to go out and get the three points. All right. Um, is it kind of weird just, just having a team in MLS nowadays that, that you haven't played in three years? Um, I would say it's weird just because, you know, there's new teams that enter the league, I feel like, almost every year. So, And then there's teams that we don't see quite – quite as much as you know the the east coast teams but uh it is uh i would say exciting to get to play in a new atmosphere against a new team that we haven't seen recently we'll go next to mike ramajo thanks rob hey kyle um i wanted to ask you uh, oscar said after the miami game that uh he was obviously quite pleased with the performance the team had against miami but noted that he has been pleased how the team's been performing since the, the Cincinnati game when the team had a basically played with a, a man down and then obviously you guys got the result in Philadelphia. Uh, how do you guys feel entering this game against San Jose? Do you guys feel like yeah the team is already turning a corner um, following a, a slow start to to the regular season? Yeah, definitely. I think so. We're turning a corner. Uh, we are very confident, you know, and then – as Oscar said, we had a good performance against Cincinnati. We were just unlucky how the the game fell. And I definitely think we could, you know, could have got a better result in that game if we had a little bit more luck. So, yeah, I think we're definitely turning a corner. Go back to Austin David. Kyle, with the, with the formation shift these last two games, uh, it's it's been a little bit more – uh, attacking minded with with the uh, you know wing backs and and Faku and and Ivan, um, but obviously with that, you, the Oscar's not employing you know fullbacks. Um, how do you feel that with that formation change, you kind of fit into the equation now uh, in terms of of adapting uh, in that change? Yeah, I think my role is pretty similar. Uh, just kind of to, ready to step up wherever I'm needed um versatile and I can play multiple positions so I'm always ready and you know like you said it, it's a little bit more attack oriented with uh Ivan and Faku and I think it it helps the team get more numbers in the attack and score more goals and we'll go back to Mike Ramajo Kyle the 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 team on the road has been well the last three road games you guys have been able to get a, a result out of uh, out of those games you guys are going into a San Jose game and where they haven't been that I guess, good at home uh, this season at all. Uh, how do you guys, I guess, look at that match against San Jose, knowing that you guys are you guys are pretty well, uh, have a pretty good form on the road versus a team that hasn't been that great at home this season? Yeah, I think we prepare, you know, just like any other game. We try to take the result out of it and focus on what's going to help us win, the process to, to win and what we need to do to uh, – you know, get the win on the road rather than thinking about matchups and how well we've done on the road or how bad they've been at home. I don't think we really look at that much when we're trying to uh, prepare for the game. Yeah. All right. If there's no more questions, we will end it there. Thank you, Kyle. And we'll have head coach Oscar Pereja next. All right. We will get going here with head coach Oscar Pereja. Oscar, if you will just give us a, uh, Kind of your thoughts ahead of this matchup tomorrow against San Jose on uh, a short rest and a very long flight. Um, re really short uh, period uh, to prepare the game, but uh, it's uh, the way the way it is. We're, we're uh, traveling to the West Coast. Uh, we had a, a very good flight. The boys look very fresh, and, um, and today we will train in the evening. Uh, and then keep our recording and our preparation for the game. So basically that uh, has been the routine so far and uh, just try to get in use this momentum and try to keep adding points. All right, we will go to Mike Ramajo. Hola, profe. Uh, hopefully all is well con el equipo y todo. Um, I wanted to ask you, um, this is a San Jose team that hasn't been very good at home this season and this is an Orlando team that the last three road games, you guys have been able to get results. How, how are you looking at this game on Saturday, knowing that this is a San Jose team that obviously is not doing well at home and it gives you guys 
Um, does it give you guys that advantage knowing how you guys are on the road so far? Thank you. Um, right. Well, um, yeah, when you see numbers and uh, uh, you see uh, how the the teams has their own, uh, not just lately, but along the season so far, uh, right, it, it is encouraging to know that uh, we, we have been a, a very good uh, uh, visiting team. And so you can use all that data for, for uh, just relate things and but most important, as you always hear from me, is be ready at the time of the game, uh, be concentrated on the task and uh, the game plan and the strategy, and uh, just write the story uh, again. So that's what we can control. So, uh, the other things are part of, of, uh, of the uh, every team's games and 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 history and things about this data. We'll go next to Austin David. Uh, Oscar, just kind of sticking on with San Jose, um, what have you kind of seen from them? Obviously, their their last game, they they fell to, to Portland, had a red card, so their certain center back's going to be out. But um, what have you kind of seen from San Jose that, that may cause problems for you guys? What I have seen so far... Uh... A, a team who, um, in their structure, they are very steady on their four-two-three-one. I have seen and noticed a couple changes on the players that uh, they brought from uh, uh, abroad, and uh, uh, they are using a very natural number ten, uh, a Bobisi at front. That is a guy who has pace and a player who. Uh, naturally can come and drop and make linking with players, but also can uh, uh, not run in behind. Uh, Pellegrini and Espinosa, that is uh, uh, a player he had a lot of linking as well there. But in their structure with uh, them, you know, what's um, um, a, a very 4 2 three, one again in their structure and I think they are in, in the same path. Uh, many teams just trying to uh, find points and uh, trying to get results. Uh, so. All right, we'll go back to Mike Romajo. Profe, con el, el tema de, bueno, Ramiro Enrique y, y los otros jugadores que siguen lesionados, ¿cómo van progresando a, al momento con sus lesiones respectivas que están con el grupo ahorita mismo? Bien, Rodrigo, eh, Ra, eh, perdón, uh, Ramiro ya está haciendo trabajos de campo con nosotros, está haciendo trabajos regulares. Es una muy buena noticia. Eh, Robin también, su progresión ha sido muy buena y, y, y pues estamos muy optimistas en su recuperación. Eh, así que bien, bien esperando que eh, estén pronto y que puedan unirse al grupo. And we'll go back to Mike. Solo para darle seguimiento, ¿eso significa que viajó, viajó Ramiro con ustedes este fin de semana o se quedó en Orlando? Igual, igual, igual para Robin. No, los dos se quedaron. Ok. Mm -hmm. eh, profe, eh, uh, solo para agregar, eh, hablamos mucho de después del partido de Miami de cómo el equipo se pudo a, a, a ajustarse a la nueva formación cuando, cuando con los, los tres de a, atrás. Eh, no sé, es una pregunta para, para ti, pero sí, ese es el plan entrando este fin de semana, siguiendo con ese mismo, esa misma formación, o es algo que eh, va, va, va a experimentar con otro tipo de, de formación. Gracias. Claro. Va, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver, estamos uh, eh, trabajando, pero ya sabes que son cosas privadas del entrenador. Esperamos hasta el final. All right, and uh, Oscar, just for bueno, un partido con un rival que no enfrentamos frecuentemente por ser de la conferencia oeste, eh, con una estructura de un 4-2-3-1, 1-4-2-3-1 en su naturaleza, con algunas variantes. Eh, tiene jugadores rápidos adelante, tienen un creativo natural en eh, López, que lo trajeron hace poco. 
eh, un par de jugadores rápidos, eh, otro que ya ha tenido consistencia en la liga, un, un equipo que lo tratamos con mucho respeto también y con mucha seriedad y eh, sabemos que están encontrando sus cosas y nosotros también a luchar, a tratar de seguir en un buen nivel y seguir eh, ganando puntos. Eh, esa es la expectativa y que sigamos eh, eh, lógicamente creciendo, ¿no? Y no solo individualmente, que lo están haciendo los jugadores, eh, sino y más importante colectivamente. We'll go one more to Austin David. Oscar, just with, with the expansion of MLS and this league and, and the amount of teams that have, have come in, looking now at the San Jose team where you haven't played them in three years, you've only played them once in your Orlando tenure, is it kind of weird to, to now have a point where there is a team in, in MLS that you just haven't played in such a long amount of time? Um. Well, yeah, it seems it seems that it's very weird not uh, to confront a team for three years within the same league. I don't think that happened too often in any other part of the world. But uh, I say it, um, in some other leagues, uh, they split uh, the groups, uh, and and they don't they don't play it until the finals and things like that. But I think it's been uh, due to the growing of the league, which is having uh, already almost uh, 30 teams. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a big number. Uh, and also the distances and, and the way we divide the conferences and things. But but you're right, yeah, it, it's very weird not, not to have uh, that much against uh, a team for that long. All right. Thank you, Rowan. Thank mm -hmm. you, Oscar. We'll talk to you all tomorrow after the game against San Jose. All right, guys. Thank you.